Hey, it's going great at Simple. I'll be completing almost two years in November and I'm totally loving it. I work very closely with the data science team at Simple. Our team uh, builds the anti-fraud systems, the underwriting systems, and other uh, support systems, which looks at each transaction that is happening through Simple. Yeah. Wouldn't know about how simple the Simple checkout is. <laughs> Definitely that to enable that, how much work goes into it. Well, my colleagues, you know, in the back-end and front-end team really take care of that checkout process. We support them in uh, saying whether this transaction should go through or not. Like, we have 70 milliseconds to respond. My favorite process is building our proprietary anti-fraud systems where we can, you know, identify risky transactions up front. People, 100%. I love my team. Uh, we've seen my team grow from you know four people to more than 30 people now. And uh, I mean, it's just a great team to be part of. We have some awesome, challenging problems we are solving. So yeah, it's amazing. I, I love the work, I love the people. I couldn't have asked for more. Yes, uh, I mean, in fact, a uh, few, two months back, I was like, now we're stable, now, you know, Everyone can have time offs and you know they can work normal hours, but it still hasn't happened because the work is there and we're still going and we have too many pro uh, new projects coming up and exciting projects coming up. So yes, we are hiring. Uh, we are hiring across multiple levels, so that's there. You have to have an attitude to learn because the space that we are working in is evolving so fast and there are so many new techniques, uh, new um, architectures that are coming up that the most important thing you look for is your ability to learn. You may have been a rock star, but if you're not you know, okay to reading AWS documentation, that doesn't work for us. So we have a very diverse team, um, ML engineers, uh, analysts, um, but the most important thing is uh, you know, how uh, your integrity and how, how quick you are to learn new things. Hassle-free, both the product and the team. My boss had once, like when I just joined Simple and we were discussing on an architecture about a new uh, project that we were working on. And uh, we were brainstorming a few ideas and one statement that I still follow three, keep it simple, that's it. Same thing, uh, I mean, a simpler solution which solves the problem is often better than, you know, more complex, fancy things which might also come to it, right? And the second thing is, especially if you're joining new, um, get to know the inherent data, get to know the inherent systems already in place. I've seen a lot of new folks coming in, uh, and the first things would be, you know, let's try and build this fancy new model. Like, the model is as good as the data that goes into it, so know your data. That's definitely the advice I'll give. Uh, there are multiple projects uh, that's happening across the board. I think uh, one that is very close to our heart and uh, we have recently deployed is uh, uh, our first uh, neural network model went live uh, on production uh, which uh, does decisioning at real time. Uh, it looks at uh, huge amounts of data and when I say uh, decisioning at real time, like within 70 milliseconds we are able to segregate uh, synthetic identity or bots or JavaScripts out from the numbers that we get, which are real phone numbers. So that was a project which was uh, really close to our heart. A lot of work went to that project. Multiple um, you know, uh, engineers were involved in that. So yeah, that's something that I'm, I'm really proud of. I, I, I love reading about uh, new things. In general, like I, I love reading, right? Like, I mean, I, I you find I have my browser open and multiple tabs will be open. I'll just, and, and the topics can range from climate change, environment, politics, to women in STEM, right? Like, yeah, I, I just like to know a little bit about everything. Um, I am from Ranchi, uh, which is a town in Jharkhand. Most people know, is that, know it as Dhoni's hometown. From there, I went to IIT Kharagpur and I completed my BTEC. Uh, in 2009, as most folks from you know normal engineering college, we joined our job, which was there at campus placement. I went to Headstrong, a financial consulting firm. 
uh, at that time data science was not famous but we were working with data right I was doing uh, ETL building pipelines of you know different tables and handling we were the back-end office of multiple of the financial companies uh, at that point in time. and uh, yeah from there I moved to another consulting firm again uh, as an analyst so I was working with data and I decided unlike a lot of my peers to not go for MBA but I went for my master's in statistics so right time right place I went into data science from there onwards uh, I also, during my uh, master's, I had interned and worked part-time with a policy think tank. And from there, I moved on to another fintech firm based out of Gurgaon called Echo. Uh, there, I set up the data science team at Echo. And from there, I moved to Simple. Uh, and Simple has been an amazing journey so far. Like, I cannot imagine a time where I didn't think I will not be in a field which is maths and science. Like, I always loved those. Engineering was a natural choice from where I come from. Like, uh, we don't get a lot of choices. It's medical and engineering. At the point that I was growing up, I'm sure it has changed. But yeah, I mean, I, it was never a question of anything else, like of being pushed. It was very natural for me to, to do this. Uh, there are awesome times. There are, also, there are also not so awesome times. So it's both, it's, it's a mixed bag, but I, I wish there'll be more women in tech, there are more girls coming forward, taking this field. It's one of the, you know, this field provides you one of the most lucrative jobs in the industry right now, right? So it's, it's, it's important that more women take it up, more women come forward and be in this field. I love my job for sure. Ah, that's a harder question on what can we do? Like I, I, I do know, but I mean, yeah, there are things that we should do, but I also know that women who are already in tech, right, or just thinking of having a career in tech, one advice that I've seen over time and I want to give them is when we hire, right, when we have a JD and we reach out to people, uh, I've seen this difference. And men would look at the requirements, there are eight of them. They'll be okay on probably one or two and nice to have on third, and they'll be like, yeah, I'll get this, and they'll apply. Women have to take all the eight requirements there before they even apply, which, which should not be the case, right? JDs are also for the candidates to understand what they will get to learn at Simple. So you might take on just few of them, the others you'll learn on job, and that's the best way. So don't hesitate in applying. Be more confident is definitely that I want to share. Uh, as someone, uh, who is in a hiring position and who is building team, I definitely want to do more to add more diversity to our team. I will have to think through the answer of what else we can do top down to have more women um, join tech in general. Yeah, absolutely, Padma Shri Warrior. I absolutely follow her uh, online as well. Uh, and she's sort of a role model. Uh, the confidence, uh, she's, uh, she has literally broken the glass ceiling, right? Like been there in a very uh, male dominated field so that's one role model i also am constantly in touch with a lot of my friends who are at very senior uh, positions across the tech, tech industry and we love to sort of brainstorm about you know what can be done better uh, why we see so less women what are the challenges all this